गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन स्टीम चेयर माई टीचर्स मेम्बर्स ऑफ द ऑडियंस सो दिस इज़ अ प्रजेंटेशन विच आई एम मेनली डायरेक्टिंग टूअर्ड्स द यंग जनरेशन एंड द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स मेकिंग द मोस्ट ऑफ पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन एंड रेजिडेंसी माई सेवन गोल्डन रूल्स फर्स्ट रूल इज चूज योर वर्क प्लेस वाइजली एंड दिस वाइज डिसीजन शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन द स्टेटस ऑफ द कंपल्सरी बॉन्ड the faculty of the department resources research opportunities industry exposure as well as the language working hours food remuneration that might be significant for some and the number of attempts at the entrance examinations or the interviews that that are uh, there what i would like to emphasize is it is not wrong to engage with another institution if necessary and if possible in parallel wherever uh, rules allow the second golden rule is keep alive and active approach you have to actively catch the best of rounds in classes prepare properly before the clinical discussions read about the cases seen in opd discuss with peers and seniors stay abreast with the latest developments and research in the spe sub specialty of your interest and experiment with the available resources for example you can practice suturing using your own instruments under your microscope whenever the time allows my third golden rule is learn from all sources you have to have a global outlook with local relevance so you have to incorporate all sources into your uh, gamut from which you have to draw important information so first of all choose manageable standard textbooks recommended for post graduates and residents you can read package inserts of all medications and consumables that are uh, opened in the operating room or uh, in your opd for example you have cyanoacrylate glue uh, which uh, which is not properly written in your textbook so you can take a take a package insert and uh, go through it and you will you'll get some insights about what a cyanoacrylate glue uh, behaves like when it comes in contact with the tissues attend conferences and teaching programs whenever and wherever possible so whenever is very important and wherever wherever possible so wherever uh, about wherever possible i'd like to tell you that i had a knack for conferences and i used to travel long distances to attend physical conferences so i i was uh, uh, an md student in aims rishikesh and i used to attend conferences uh, in the say uh, i've been to delhi i've been to indore i've been to varanasi been to kolkata also for conferences and and you have to have a, a broad approach because the uh, the 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 teaching is not limited to your institution or or to your uh, uh, surroundings you can at attend surgical skill transfer courses and diagnostic skill transfer courses to iron out any deficiencies that you might find in your uh, routine work whether surgical or diagnostic and you have to interact and network with people be it your peers be it your seniors be it your teachers so that you can gain the best from them the fourth important point use technology to your advantage i would recommend an ipad no financial interests to store and annotate ebooks take notes view online surgical and teaching videos prepare teaching learning content practice drawing ophthalmic diagrams learning through augmented reality apps and you can even practice surgery through some apps that are available for free on the app store the second important thing is a good camera phone with a net connection which works in your hospital zone you you can capture clinical images download and transfer online content view 3d virtual reality surgery which is now available in youtube you can store important contacts you can use social media uh, but it has to be used wisely and most importantly you can make calls i would recommend to keep a charged power bank and a charger at all times during residency fifth golden rule take care of yourself relax at the slightest opportunity you can video call or talk with your family eat well you can keep reserve food in your bag and don't miss meals invest in your health encourage yourself adequately and reward yourself yourself handsomely my sixth golden rule respect your seniors and your colleagues
choose your mentors intelligently, identify your support structure, seek help from the correct people whenever required, draw a line for your personal space beforehand and exceed the line infrequently. And again, you have to learn from everyone, learn the best practices, but also you have to learn and probably more importantly, learn what not to do. My seventh golden rule, accept learning to be a lifelong process. You are your own toughest competitor. This is said by Dr. Uday Devgan, who's one of the most prolific ophthalmologists of the world as of today. Criticize your activities harshly. You have to aim for betterment at every step. You have to take inspiration from every failure, find encouragement in every venture, and seek blessings from every quarter. So in summary, my seven golden rules, choose your workplace wisely, keep alive an active approach, learn from all sources, use technology to your advantage, take care of yourself, respect your seniors and colleagues, and accept learning to be a lifelong process.